Yo, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy Vel, and we are back with another one. And this one, we're gonna be talking about something crazy right now. So, um, we had a, a person who who came across Dodash. They were watching her videos, and then they saw the message that she was she was preaching. And we kind of saw the same things because he's a he's a pretty big content creator himself, and he's been going hard, man. And um, he uh he commented on one of my videos like, yeah, I, I didn't really. I wasn't messing with the, the message that she's sending, making it seem like it's so easy to do this because it's not. And and we know that it's, we know exactly how much hard work it takes to actually do this. Ironically, what, what's crazy about this is, is my man has posted more videos than I have. Like, I mean, I think across all my channels, bro. Like he's a very hard worker. And this is the thing. She takes this approach where she makes it seem like if you just post every single day, just keep posting. She was posting for four years before she ever got any recognition, by the way. But she makes it seem like all it takes for you to get on here and post, she pumps you up, makes you get all motivated, and then you you start posting, you don't go nowhere, and then you wonder why. You, you wonder, is it you? Is it like, no, it's, it's the fact that you're listening to someone who don't know what they're doing. She doesn't know how she blew up. So how can she help you blow up? So yeah, like... Look at my man. He posted 15,000 videos. I had to give him some recognition, man. He posted 15,000 videos. And what I like and respect about this is that he's a Cowboys channel. He's talking about the Cowboys. He's talking about his team. I don't watch sports. I don't know much about sports, but I'm assuming the Cowboys are probably not the most popular sports team. So if he wanted to get more views, he could expand and talk about teams that get more viewership. He could talk about other, you know, other topics that, you know, but but he chooses to go about YouTube in a way where he's passionate about what he's talking about. He enjoys talking about, he says he enjoys what he's doing. You can tell he enjoys what he's doing. That's the only way you get to 15,000 uploads is by enjoying what you're doing. Like at the point where you don't enjoy what you're doing, you're never getting that many uploads out of it. You're going to quit at a certain point. But when it's really, you, when you really just living your life and and doing what, what makes you happy and doing what you're excited to do, you can just keep going and keep doing it because it's not about anything other other than your enjoyment. And that's that's what that's what I love. I, I love that I love that mindset and that approach to YouTube because everyone's getting on here, seeing her checks and saying, Oh, I want to make this money too. It's that easy. I can quit my nine to five, I can quit my job, giving people false hope and people sitting here really considering quitting their jobs and things like that. It's just it's crazy. It's crazy portraying something as this easy when me. It took me many years to blow up on YouTube. It took me many years. Like my first two years, I I'll tell you this. I remember I remember it vividly. My first two years on YouTube, I made two cents. Two cents. Then my the following what year or two, I made two dollars. That that was the start of my YouTube career. So she's sitting here telling people, quit your nine to fives and just post on post YouTube videos. I was very consistent. I was going hard. My first two years, I made two cents. My next two years, I made about $2. And then after that, that's when things started to skyrocket and take off for me because I started to learn the game. I was getting sponsorships. I even got to work with Ubisoft. They flew me out. And, and it's, it's like a whole lot of stuff happened. But before I got that big break, before I got my big moment, I, w I was just, I was trying to figure it out. Like it was, it was a struggle. It was a grind. And you, you don't want to be quitting a nine to five. You don't want to be doing all of this stuff that she's telling you about, ignoring tags, ignoring titles, ignoring thumbnails and all of this stuff. You want to be working with it, tweaking it, trying to see what you can improve, how you can make it better. What that That's the only way you're going to become a better content creator because if you look at her content, she does not change the content that she's making. She does the same video over and over and over to the point where those videos are no longer effective. So now that she only gets views when she clickbaits something random. You know, it's crazy that your most popular series, you have to post something other than that for people to want to click on it because they used to seeing the same bullshit that you post. So I love to see a channel like this where it's like purely passion, man. It's purely passion. So as you can see, my man, like, and what's crazy, he posted three hours ago. He posted a video one hour ago. He posted a video three hours ago. He posted another video three hours ago. He posted a video 16 hours ago, like 16 hours ago, 20 hours ago, 21 hours ago. Look at look at the grind. He is smoking her. Like he's completely smoking her in terms of his work ethic. His work ethic, and then he's doing what he's passionate about too. He's talking about the things that he's passionate about. And this is what I say. This is what YouTube is about. If you're going to talk about this stuff, I'm pretty sure you talk about sports or you talk about whatever you're passionate about with your homies. 
you talk about anime, you talk about something. If you're gonna be talking about these topics, why not get paid for it? Look at this. He, like, look at his views. His views, my man's got 68 million views. He's getting a bag off of talking about what he, he would be talking about this stuff anyway with it. Imagine if he only talked about this with his friends. You know how much of a waste of time that would be? I mean, it's cool for the relationship. Y'all cool, y'all having fun, but this man is making money. He's making real money off of talking about this stuff and just recording himself talk about it. That is dope. This is what YouTube is about. It's not about not putting in work. It's not about being lazy like DoDash. It's about putting in the work that you want to put in. If you want to talk about sports and football all day, you can get paid to do it. Just put in the work you want to put in. It's, it's some type of topic that you can talk about all day, every day, and never get tired because you love it that much. You can talk about that topic and get paid. So why not do it? That's what YouTube is about. Take advantage of these opportunities and, and learn. This is the more of a channel that I would say you should be learning from. Look at this. Like, look at this. He, he got viral videos and everything. He's been talking about some good topics. And then look at this. His oldest video is nine years ago. He's been at it for nine years. And as you can see, still got the cowboy shirt on. Like my man, he's been consistent for nine years. He was he did a few cooking videos, but yo, he he's been talking, he's been doing the things that he's loved from day one, it looks like. He's been doing what he's been doing from, from day one. And I love it. I love to see it. And I think that more people need to take an approach to YouTube like this. Because this is what this is what allows you to be consistent and 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 sustain and and basically see the growth and results that you want he's talking about what he loves and that's what everybody should be doing on this platform so yeah um let me know what you all think let me know how you all feel about that man um like i said i don't i don't dislike dodash i hate the fact that i'm making so many videos about her but it's really just to talk to her audience it's really just to wake people up because she's brainwashed a lot of people out here I don't want y'all to sit here and give up on YouTube, give up on your dreams because you take the approach that she leads you down and you're gonna have terrible results. You're gonna think that something wrong with you. You're gonna think that you're not cut out for it or you're gonna think that it's hard. And yes, to an extent, YouTube is hard. But what makes YouTube easy is when you do it the right way. When you're making content that you don't wanna make, it's the hardest thing in the world. When, when you're doing what this guy is doing, it's the easiest thing in the world because based on how much he's making about sports YouTube videos, he would be talking about sports all day with his homies anyway. He would be talking about these same topics anyway. And that's what YouTube is about. The stuff that you would already be doing, do it in front of a camera and get paid for it. He would be talking about this regardless of the fact that he's doing it on YouTube. So now that he has an outlet where he can still talk about what he wants to talk about and he can make a little bit of money, come on, that's a, that's a no brainer. It's a win-win situation. So this is how you gotta look at YouTube and this is how you gotta approach it. Find your key topic that you would be talking about regardless and start talking about it. If you cook every day, if you love cooking nice meals, throwing, throwing stuff together, make a channel about it. If you love dressing, you put on those clothes together, you, you, put, you, you put together them outfits and they look real nice every single day, start a channel. If, if you like cars and you like do, going to car conventions and stuff like that, start a channel. Whatever it is that you do that you truly enjoy, start a channel. That's what YouTube is about. It's not about trying to get this easy paycheck, looking at revenue updates and all this stuff. You're not gonna be getting the same results as nobody else. What you can do is get the best results for you and you can see what path that leads you down. So yeah, there we have it. That's pretty much it for this video. Be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe and turn on notifications and I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace out fam.